trying to do. Hello everyone. I am about to start Wine and Wellness Wednesday. So just bear with me while I get the IG camera going. Okay. Hello, hello, and welcome to Wine and Wellness Wednesday where we discuss um, skincare, self-care, have a little wine and have a little fun. I'm Lindsay Brantley, the founder of Camellia Elise Skincare and Camellia Elise Academy. And um, I am joined by my partner in crime, Naomi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so, uh, we're, look, we're pouring up the wine, y'all, getting ready, getting ready. <laughs> so, thank y'all for tuning in. Um, it is a beautiful day. It so, is. let's toast today. All right. Okay, guys, so today for Wine and Wellness Wednesday, I think uh, when you tuned in last week, I let you guys know that we were kind of going to go back and forth between skincare and self care. Last week, I talked a lot about um, skin, uh, your self care. So this week, we're going to talk about skincare. And I wanted to talk about some common skincare issues. So it's kind of, hi, Nancy, thanks for joining. So we're kind of going to do a rapid fire skincare version, okay? So I'm going to let Naomi throw some questions at me. You guys that are tuned in, um, any kind of common skincare questions that you have, just throw them at me and I will answer them to the best of my ability. And if there's something I can't answer, I will get it into the description for y'all after the video, okay? So let's go. What's your first question? All right. So these <laughs> questions are kind of like things that I've thought about like over the years, whether it was like when, especially high school, I wish I knew an esthetician when I was right. in high school because <laughs> okay. puberty hits and you're just like, what the hell is going, going on, on my on face? This yeah. Year, right. Okay. So, uh, yeah, let's just go for it. What the heck is a T-zone? Okay. <laughs> so that, and that's actually a common <laughs> question. Okay. So your T-zone is the top of your forehead so it's straight across your forehead all the way down through your nose and to the bottom of your chin so it's literally a t okay, okay. um it's called the t-zone because that's where we typically break out right everybody breaks out here you break out kind of right in the chin area mm -hmm. it's because you ha you have more oil glands in okay. those areas and it's the center of your face mm -hmm. so it's the t-zone is literally like straight down and straight across your forehead that's where most of your oil glands are on your face um, and it's just also the area like I said it tends to collect more oil produce more oil and then that's where we start to break out first so. all right okay cool one, one down all right <laughs> one down and a couple to go right okay all right so that's the first one so I uh, hope you guys you know learn something there because people ask all the time like what is the t-zone mm -hmm. and that's all it is it's just a certain area of your face that holds more of your oil glands and it tends to you know break out more than the rest okay well speaking of oil glands I've always heard people talk about you know you have dry skin or you have oily skin but this combination skin like I, I feel like it's either one or the other so really what is combination skin okay so um, I'm gonna answer that but I'm also gonna say when you say one or the other, I always tell people to think of, especially if you're natural, because we mm -hmm. have natural hair, you don't just have one type of hair, right? You may have a 4A, a 4B, a 4C, okay. a mixture of both. It's the same with your skin. A lot of times you'll have one area, say your T-zone or maybe the top of your uh, skin that's producing more oil. Those glands are more active, so okay. it's oily at the top. But when you get into your nose or maybe the bottom of your chin, you notice that that area of your face is dry. Okay. So combination, I mean, you can have oily skin where you have a nice glisten all over, or you can have dry skin where your skin is always cracking, peeling, you okay. have to add more moisture to it. Or you can have certain spots on your face where you're breaking out, certain spots on your face where um, it's oily and then certain spots that are dry. It's literally just a combination. Just the same as your hair, you can have different types of hair, different areas of your skin, you know, produce different things. And I'm also going to post a chart for you guys next week. There is a little chart that I love that shows the face and it shows each breakout zone what that means to your body. Um, if you study, like it'll say maybe the cheek area is breaking out due to stress. 
you know, you may have acne breakout in one part of mm. your skin or another. It's the same thing. You may produce more oil in one area and be dry in another. So that's okay. what combination skin is. All right. So while we're talking about different skin problems and everything, okay, so um, things are opening up now, right? Yes. People yes. are starting to go get their facials or preparing to go get their facials and whatnot. But then there's right. still a lot of people who are just like, mm, I don't know if this is really something I want to do right, right. now. Can we talk about these DIY extractions and chemical peels and stuff? Okay. Like, is this something we can do? I know this extractions and chemical peels are two different things, but right. is that something that we should be dabbling in? Yeah, or, or should not? we okay. just take the break uh, out and wait until yeah, the everything waiting. opens? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So, struggling. first, let me just say, um, in regards to COVID, um, for those of you who are Texas-based, because Camelia Elise is Texas-based, um, we have been given the green light by the governor um, to open certain things. So starting May 8th, uh, barbershops, estheticians, and some cosmetologists, which means licensed estheticians, will be able to do facials, right? But um, Camellia Elise Studios will not be opening until the 18th. And even when we do open on the 18th, we are going to slowly roll things out, which means we all of our staff have been um, certified, clean certified by Dermalogica. So we're going to be rolling things out very, very slowly. Okay. But to answer that question as far as DIY, there are a lot of things that you should be doing at home, especially while you don't have your esthetician there to kind of give you the facials, kind of help you out a little bit. Right. Um, I would definitely say you should use an exfoliant. Um, use your routine wash your toner uh, sunscreen for sure um, I do not recommend under any circumstances that you buy any medical grade chemical peels or any kind of chemical peel and put it on your face at home period it's not safe for you um, we what we typically do before we put chemicals on your face is we do a skin patch test um, to make sure you're not allergic to it. We we take a lot of precautions that we've been taught to take and You doing it at home is just not safe If you have a practitioner who is selling you medical grade chemical peels I, I just I highly recommend that you wait. That's the one thing I would say wait until you get into your practitioner Washing exfoliating the basic stuff that you need to do to keep your skin vibrant and healthy definitely do that at home but uh, chemical peels, no, we don't do those on ourselves. Right. <laughs> um, because what can happen is you can hyperpigment, which your skin, which means your skin can uh, get a lot darker. Um, you can hypopigment, which you can start losing pigmentation in your skin. Okay. You can give yourself chemical burns mm -hmm. um, if you leave it on too long or put it on in the wrong place. It's just not a good idea. So I would say hold off on the chemical peels. Do your regular routines and slowly make your way back to your estheticians as we begin to open up, okay? That makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all right. So another question that kind of falls into, you know, the whole quarantine theme, right? So we've all been cooped up in these houses and we've been yeah. eating up all the quarantine snacks. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I may or may not be someone but anyway yeah. <laughs> uh, what I wanted to ask was what is the relationship between your diet and your skin because I know a bunch of people are eating those Oreos and the, that popcorn and those potato chips and all of a sudden that glowing skin is starting to break yeah. out in some places and we're like I don't know what happened so is skin yeah. really a thing that can be controlled by diet or your, your diet is everything okay. um, your skin is your body's largest organ mm -hmm. okay um, so you need to be well hydrated. If you are not hydrated, you'll notice that your skin starts to get dry. Okay. If you start taking in a bunch of sugar, you will notice that you'll start to have more pimples than you had before. The same with stress. Your body and your skin reacts very heavily to your diet, to what you put in and what you put on it. Um, so it's extremely important those leafy greens kind of keep you healthy you think about when you gain weight and you lose weight look at how your skin reacts right mm -hmm. um you know you'll notice that you start to bloat a little bit more because your skin is just a reflection of everything that's going on internally 
Um, so yes, your diet is extremely important. Um, during this time, y'all see we're out here drinking our wine, but for every glass of wine, we're having like two cups of water. Yeah, okay? I have a water bottle I carry around like a baby. Yeah, <laughs> so um, you just need to make sure that you balance things out. Obviously, we're all out here snacking a little bit more than normal, and everybody's a little bit more stressed than normal. That's that's okay. Like, we all deserve to be like okay have a woosa moment i'm a little stressed because things are changing i get it i'm a business owner so i'm stressed trying to figure out what the <laughs> heck is going on and that's okay but you definitely need to um kind of make sure that you have a balance have some of those leafy greens take some vitamins i would say a lot of us are not eating as healthy as we normally would be so yes definitely take some vitamins i'm uh, working on my hair regrowth yes um, even yeah, even your hair, right? Your hair, I mean, is a reflection to your scalp is reacting to your diet just like everything else. Yes, your diet has a direct correlation to your skin. So I just highly recommend that you take a little time and make sure that you're caring for your your skin and caring for your body at the same time okay. because they they are all all working together. So. Um, and for those of you who just joined, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Today is Wine and Wellness Wednesday, and we are doing some rapid-fire questions, uh, common skincare questions. We've kind of gone over what is the T-zone. We've gone over what is combination skin. Um, what is, you know, how does your diet kind of correlate with right. your skincare? Also, some of the dangerous DIY stuff that's out there and some of the good DIY <laughs> stuff that's out there. So we're just kind of answering you guys' questions. I just wanted to come on today and talk to you a little bit about, you know, skin and all the things in between. <laughs> what other kind of questions do you have? And of course, guys, as you tune in, if you have any questions, please send them our way. We'll answer those as well. She'll answer them. Or I will, I'm yes. Just, yeah, she's just my partner, <laughs> a partner in crime, you know. She I, said wine. I did, I, I did. I said wine. I'm providing the wine. So, you know, and I will say... Um, although we're slowly starting to reopen guys, please just be very, very cautious about your practices, what you're doing, still be socially distancing. Um, I, you know, my cousin came on with me a couple weeks ago and I kind of explained to you guys that she's actually immunocompromised. So is my husband. So those are the only two people I can kind of <laughs> hang out with during, uh, during this COVID outbreak. So I'm safe. You know, not necessarily socially distancing with her, <laughs> but I'm not I'm not hanging out with anybody else right now. So just keep in mind that you guys need to be very safe because the numbers are continuing to climb um, as far as COVID cases in this country. So be safe. All right. What else do we got? What kind of questions do you have? All right. Well, Camellia Lease Products does um, pride itself on being an alcohol free line of products. Right. right? So. Um, with the exception of our hand sanitizer, well, for of course, reasons, of course. Yeah. but you know, for skincare, right. the most part, alcohol free. Um, but there are some products out there that do have alcohol in them and they are, you know, marketing very well. So I'm trying to figure out like, what's the difference between alcohol and non-alcohol, which is there a better thing? Is there something, should we be putting alcohol on our face? Is that something that we should be looking at? Okay. So, um, alcohol is used in products to kill germs and the side effect is it dries your skin out okay so um i typically stay away from alcohol and tell my clients look at the jar right look at the jar before you buy it what is in that product um if it's got a whole bunch of stuff that you don't know how to pronounce it you can't understand it i probably wouldn't buy it um we stick to natural ingredients we don't use alcohol but we do use um products like witch hazel for instance, okay. witch hazel is a really good um, alternative because it will kill the germs on your face, but it won't dry your skin out. It's a natural alternative. So there are things that you can use instead of alcohol um, to kill the germs naturally. So I would say, um, yeah, products with alcohol, I don't put on my face. I okay. typically avoid them. Like I said, our hand sanitizer has alcohol in it because we're trying to kill viruses, right? But that's for hands. And not your face. Not your face. Yeah, <laughs> anything that you're using on your face, I would just say avoid alcohol and the use of it. And just look at the products and the ingredients. And if it doesn't make sense, don't use it. Uh, we don't even use emulsifiers in most of our products. And 
to say what an emulsifier is when you let's just say that you mix oil and sugar right you'll notice that they kind of separate mm -hmm. well a lot of people put what's called an emulsifier in it it's a chemical that helps to bind it so that the things don't separate and we don't use that um, so some of our products you'll notice we say shake well because it will naturally separate um, but I chose to use formulate I, we also use things like shea butter as a natural binder instead of wax Okay. So there's always different things that natural skincare lines can do okay. to avoid the dangerous stuff. Okay. So yeah, avoid alcohol, avoid like a bunch of emulsifiers if you can. Yeah. All right. yeah. <laughs> so um, this question we actually talked about not too long ago. Okay. Um, so part of my autoimmune disorder means that my skin goes out of whack quite often. Right. And I was having a little bit of a breakout and I put this this regular, super regular oh, I, well it was I think it was what, Bath and Body Works or something lotion just to kinda calm it and you were on like your face? No no no, oh. not my face. <laughs> on your body. It was my oh, skin, yeah. right. And you were like, No, just don't do that. <laughs> we were saying how you know some people just use the same lotion right, right. on their face it's just right. like oh I'm you know lotioning my entire body why not throw a little bit on my face right. what is the significance of a like a face, face only lotion okay so a uh, couple things that I'm not not hating on Bath and Body Works let me just say that I, um, I still love my Bath and Body Works I didn't give it up I mean it I mean <laughs> it smells amazing it does. right um, most of our products people buy because they love the way it smells <laughs> Um, but certain products are made so that they don't clog the pores okay mm -hmm. so a lot of times when you're ha when you're using something that's considered a face lotion mm -hmm. they have formulated that in such a way that you're not going to clog your pores when you utilize that product um, now we do produce oils that we can use on both face and body because it's just a natural oil no additives in it but the reason I stopped her from using it is because a bath lotion has a whole lot of uh, waxes in it, stuff like, you know, a whole bunch of extra fragrances in it. And someone who already has sensitive skin, you really don't want to put something like that on it because it's going to irritate it more. Even with us, we, ha we use essential oils and um, natural fragrance oils, but I have some clients that are like, I just want it unscented because I'm sensitive to essential oils. Okay. So you don't want all of those additives and extra chemicals going into your skin when it's already sensitive. So that's why I just totally stopped her. Um, I had a question. So I needed someone to help to get my ingrown hairs out. Also, the little procedure that uh, some cosmetologists do to scrape the skin. Do we do that? Okay, so let me answer that. So that is called dermaplaning. Um, yes, we do dermaplaning at our spa. Um, and yes, we do extractions. And let me just answer the question on extractions. I always tell people, don't pick your face. Stop picking your face. And look, she, look she's guilty of it. That's why I always say, don't pick your yeah. face. There it is a proper you. way. It calls you. <laughs> it just calls you. <laughs> there is a proper way to do extractions at home. I'm going to have to post the little tool. It's a little tool that you can get at Sally's, Amazon. It's called a blemish extraction tool. It's a little bitty tool that you just kind of put right around the pimple and push forward so that it comes out naturally. When you're using like your fingernails, you got bacteria on your fingernails and you're putting pressure on both sides of your skin. Not a good idea. The extraction tool just kind of lightly helps you do that. We do extractions for you and we do it in such a way that we actually help to open up your pores first so that it's easier to remove all of the stuff that's inside your pores. But uh, to answer your question, yes, we do extractions. We do dermaplaning as well. Now, at my, at my spa right now, I am the only certified um, medical aesthetics practitioner that does dermaplaning. So if you come for a facial, you're getting it with me. Um, most of the body contouring, we have some nurses and stuff that do it. But yes, extractions, dermaplaning, I'm the only one licensed by the state to do that. So thanks for that question. Yes, we definitely um, will take care of you if you need help with extractions. But um, don't pick at your face. I always tell people, don't pick at your face. Go to a professional who can help you do it right. Uh, it's just not a good idea. <laughs> and she's laughing so hard because I've had to tell her. Yes. 
Yeah, so for sure. Just don't don't pick at your face. I'm telling you it calls you. Just I saying. know, I know. We I mean everybody's like that, right? Mm -hmm. Especially when you can feel mm -hmm. under your skin that there's something there you wanna get it out. Um, I would say exfoliate because right. exfoliating kind of helps. It'll help to open the pores. It'll help to kind of soften the area around it so that some of that buildup may come out on its own okay. until you get to a professional. But yeah, don't, don't, um, you know, don't pick at your face. And so we will be posting for you guys the little facial chart next week so that you can kind of see, oh, this is if I'm breaking out in my T-zone, this is what's happening. If I'm breaking out in my cheeks okay maybe i need to drink a little bit more water like it kind of tells you that and then we'll also post the little blemish extraction tool as well so that you guys can pick that up i'll actually put that in the story tonight too so for those of you who are tuning in y'all can see both of them right away i'll do that tonight so you got any other questions for me ma'am no but i think you've got a little bit of an announcement to make oh, what announcement am i making oh my god my, 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 my announcement training <laughs> For those of you um, who, who don't, wait, she said one question. Um, you can use me to teach whomever else you teach. Hey, I, I'm, always look, I'm always looking for models. And so uh, to that, we are actually going live on our Academy page right after we end with you guys. And I'm uh, excited to announce that we are now starting to do some of our virtual trainings. Um, there are very few things that I can do virtually. I'm a, I'm a hands-on person, and I like to make sure that you truly get all of the techniques that I'm teaching but there are a couple that we are going to be announcing um, in about 30 minutes on our on our other page so um, if you're interested in virtual training or getting into the spa industry we have some classes coming up that can help you with that yay. So, yay. Exciting, exciting stuff for sure so um, and then definitely like I was saying we are opening as of the 18th we're not opening on the 8th um, we are opening on the 18th. All of our staff is um, clean certified. Uh, so you guys, you know, we will be very careful. We're actually doing temperature checks when you come in. Mm -hmm. um, we are only taking like one client at a time um, to maintain social distancing. We will be wearing masks. So we're doing everything we can to protect you and us. But we're going to be slowly reopening, guys. We're not going to go back to normal. Um, we're, I, we really and truly don't believe that we're ready to do that. So we'll be slowly moving forward. So, um, oh, and yeah, we can, we'll can. we take care of your chin area, neck area. We do, we do full facial area to make sure that everything looks good. And if you're having breakouts in the chin area, like we, I mean, I do an analysis of the full face. It's not just. Oh, let me look at this area, pull out that pimple and be done. That's, that's not what we do. So thank you guys for tuning in to our edition of Wine and Wellness. Thanks for joining me tonight. We'll it was wine. But yeah, of course. The free <laughs> wine, right? The free wine. Why wouldn't she join me? But uh, thanks for joining in. And like I said, we are about to go live on the Academy page as well. So um, if you guys are interested in learning more about the trainings that we offer, feel free to uh, tune in on that page. Um, until next week, thanks, and we'll talk to you again soon. Bye.